Dehshamuddin Hassan, the Managing Director and CEO of CSR. Dehtuk Ishmadin Hassan hails from Singapore. Um, as I mentioned, he's the managing director and CEO of Central Sugars Refinery, which, for those of you who don't know, is one of Malaysia's largest sugar refineries. Thank you very much. Our company, we are primarily a sugar refiner. And as I will mention, as I will show afterwards, sugar has a bad name, unfortunately but it's not necessarily true. So our company set out to be different. We're moving into the fast-moving consumer goods space, and uh, we think and we know we will be able to convert as many people as possible into the healthier option. And along the way, we've got great partners like New Cane, uh, who really has put in a lot of effort in the R&D and has introduced a magnificent product. So let me introduce you to this. This is the vision and mission of our company. We don't see ourselves as a commodities player. We see ourselves as a provider of something that will enhance the taste and the value of the product that is added to. The mission that we have, we are in deep search for better and better products. And having a better product is not enough. We need to communicate on the proper use communicate it well, and make sure the product is available everywhere and anywhere via a wider and deeper distribution. We all know about the challenge of sugar. There's a lot of myth, sugar causing diabetes, but not many people talk about the lifestyle. And it's not helped with the fact that uh, there are many punitive measures now being driven or being introduced by countries such as the sugar tax and all. And I, might, I wanted to add also that there are many uh, players who start to introduce artificial sweeteners. For me personally, artificial sweeteners, the jury is still out there. I would prefer to still go on the natural solution. Sustainability first. When we talk about palm oil, we talk about now mandatory sustainability. In sugar world, we became part of a move that aims to source sugar in a sustainable way. And uh, there is such an organization, a certification called VIVE, and we were quick to adopt it. And uh, I'm happy to say that today we are the first refiner in the world to be certi certified sustainable. And that is uh, a responsibility that we have to do uh, as part of a global uh, corporate citizen, uh, being sustainable and going uh, the mile with it uh, is the way to go. Then we came across New Cane. And New Cane has a low glycemic sugar, and we spent a lot of money on getting it verified and certified. And today, we are happy to say that we have that solution as part of the sugar reduction. A, a glycemic of 54, and we're not stopping there, we're bringing it lower and lower. When you have this kind of product, there is no, no use of having this kind of product if we don't communicate, and we don't spread it as much as possible. We don't see it only as a business proposition, but we see it as our duty to bring healthier option to everyone in the world. And with that, we gave birth to the brand Better Brown. Why? We feel brown is indeed a good sugar, but then this brown sugar is much better than the rest, and that's why we name it Better Brown. So one critical solution, one critical decision we made as part of uh, our effort to bring healthier options to the world if we look at a lot of uh, solution on this kind of uh, product, it's always positioned at the, mass, eh, at the, at the, at the premium. So uh, a normal sugar in Malaysia, uh, a white sugar cost about three ringgit a kilogram. A low glycemic solution or a healthier option is being sold at 15 or 17 ringgit per kilogram. 
But as a company, we decided, and we, we decided to put money where our mouth is, and we say health is not only for the rich. Health is for everyone. And as such, we made a conscious decision to position this product at the mass level so that people will have less of a barrier to move from the white stuff into the low glycemic option. So this product is, uh, first of all, we decided on the brand, we decided where to price it. The next step is to get it recognized as indeed the better sugar. So we approached the Diabetic Institute in Malaysia, extensive tests were conducted, and finally they were convinced and they agreed that indeed this is the better option and it would be a good, uh, a, a good uh, story for them to partner with us and we went ahead with it. So first we got it endorsed. It was a very historic and very touching moment. We need to communicate, communicate and communicate and that involves a lot of money and a lot of effort. But we think and we know and we are convinced that this is the way to go to bring goodness to the world. Sugar reduction is needed and we need to communicate. Otherwise, if, you, if, if the consumers are not aware the benefits of a low glycemic uh, solution or a low glycemic um, diet, no matter what kind of product we have, it will not be able to take off. So with that, we gave it the good old FMCG treatment and we put forward a very, very comprehensive program, put some serious money behind it, and off we go. did was we went into this campaign called if you love your family you switch to better brown because it's, it is indeed the better sugar we did that we hired uh, we appointed brand ambassadors the lady you see is a very famous singer and actor in Malaysia uh, the guy there is a very famous chef we went to town with uh, with our communication because that's the only way to go otherwise nobody will be aware of this product we went digital with education, recipes, and whatever way we can do to get it communicated. And uh, if you look at it, impression, very quite admirable. Nadi, we went to the grassroots with Nadi. We went uh, to create awareness of diabetes and stating that there's a better solution out there. Retail. Fortunately for us, we received very strong support from the retailers and we were able to do this. Those days, you could only see Milo doing this, but nowadays, sugar, we can do it as well. Uh, consumer response has been amazing. And the result, we launched this product somewhere in November last year. And today, uh, you know, the red one is, uh, is CSR, Better Brown. Um, we can say that the consumer response has been very good and uh, we continue to, with our work to spread the goodness or to spread this brand of sugar all over. Next up in the stage, next up would be new SKUs. So this is positioned at a mass level. Then we say, okay, we will get lower and lower glycemic index and that's when we start position at the more premium range. The, the other critical stage is also to get the food and beverage uh, manufacturers, people, the big uh, manufacturers, Ferrero, uh, Nestle, Unilever, Mondelez, to get them to go on board uh, our product uh, because that is one of the way where we can spread uh, the goodness of this product. And uh, moving forward, very happy to say that in Malaysia, we're fast conquering uh, the market. 
In December or January, at the latest, we will be introducing it in Singapore. We are also making, making inroads into Middle East, Indonesia as well, and we're eyeing China as well. So everywhere that we can spread our wings to spread, in, 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 it's not only about commerce, it's not only about profit, but it's about getting humankind to start thinking and to start getting on this new type of healthier sugar, and it's a low glycemic. Thank you very much. Thank you.